dudes. Uh, this train just switched directions. I've never watched that happen here before. But two trains went by, one in each direction. So I wonder if this train is stopping to hold up for the one that had passed. I don't know. Ah. Oh yeah, they're talking the horn down there. So went out for a ride. What I wanted to do was test the GoPro. Here it goes again. So what's up? I'm out here uh, riding my bike at Honda Hills. Just a quick ride on Saturday afternoon. Got to go home. I have a shoot tonight and stuff like that. But on Tuesday, I made a video that was a little bit rambly about I was realizing that the new GoPro 9 was not looking that good. And then I realized that the 4K had a high bitrate mode. So I turned that on today. So I was filming some of the um, cherry blossoms we have here in Akron as I rode by thinking that would be a good test for how um, much better it looks because trees and gravel and I'm going to test it on the gravel on the way out of here and a little bit about these shades that I got from Dirty River Bicycle Works. They're made by a brand called Gooder, G-O-O-D-R. Um, all my friends have been wearing them and I've only ever worn like the free, um, uh, the glasses they give out at like charity events. These are only 25 bucks and the polarized lens and everything of decent glasses and decent for 25 bucks makes such a difference how you can leave them on when it's not quite as bright and just cutting down the glare and everything and then I also told the story um, about when I wrecked my bike so I'll show that but the sound wasn't very good there's um, that steam factory by me and all that stuff so anyways the main thing though with the GoPro that I've noticed besides what I said on Tuesday is that I turned the sharpening down so I thought it was just an issue of not using the high bit rate in 4k and I turned the bit rate up but then I also turned the sharpening down to medium and I think I'm even gonna turn it down to low because I could always add sharpening in post and not have that baked into my footage. I just realized that's what was making it not look as good as the footage from my GoPro Hero 8. So I'm like, that doesn't make sense. The sensor's bigger, you know, um, I'm sure they improved all their algorithms. So that seemed to be the issue there and that fixed it, fixed the way it looks a lot. I'm also still really impressed with the um, horizon leveling on this GoPro. I'm really impressed with the night footage. I shot a little bit more um, just last night and how even stabilization works a little bit. You know, you don't expect the GoPro to kill it at night, but you know, pretty much with the older GoPros, most night footage was fairly unusable. It was just lights bouncing around, especially if the GoPro was attached to your bike um, or anything that you would be using. So yeah, that's just a little bit about that. I'm also really still enjoying being able to do the two camera thing and just having, as I talked about, the idea of putting the one on my stem, yeah, usually the eight, and that's worked out really well. So when we do hit something and I just want to press record and not worry about handling a GoPro, I've got that one going. And then I have this one to pull out and shoot footage um, of all the different angles. And like I mentioned before, with the horizon leveling, to hold this one sideways as someone's riding next to me has just been cool. The other thing I noticed today is, yesterday I was riding my single speed, and today I'm back on the Rally gravel bike. And it is so weird when I get on this bike after riding that. And it's not because of the gears and it's not even because of the upright position with the uh, sweep bars. It's really because this bike is so stable that it just feels, almost when I get on it, it feels like it's sluggish and like there's something wrong and like it won't turn. And it really takes me like the first mile to get back used to riding this bike. It's really interesting and having a bunch of different bikes and getting to feel all the different ways they handle is really interesting. This bike like in deep gravel and like here at Honda Hills and like sandy stuff and all that is just amazing. But then sometimes when I first get it on the road, I'm like, it just, it just feels sluggish. And I know it's just a feel thing because, you know, I still get fast times and all that on this bike, but it's gotta be a combination between the geometry and the low tire pressure, but yeah, or lower tire pressure. But just like an interesting observation, um, I definitely, like I said the other day when I got on my Trek 500, did a road ride for the first time in a while, you know, and that's not even the fastest setup bike in the world, but uh, just how it feels like a rocket after riding the other stuff all winter. But yeah, out here, um, also recovering mostly from my wreck, and I was coming on to the towpath trail like I always do. Um, was also stopped by the bike shop to pick up some new tires for this bad boy. I've worn out these Terravale cannonballs and I want to try something different. Um, so coming onto the towpath, there's a concrete apron that's pretty new that is poured there. There's a couple people standing there with their dog. So I went around and rang my bell 
but still came in kind of hot. And turns out that concrete apron was covered in the crushed limestone from the towpath. I don't know how, but I ate it. And I ate it pretty hard. Um, nothing was messed up on my bike except the uh, lever was pushed in on the one side. But I was, I had gone pretty far away from my bike. And my bike wasn't messed up because I took the brunt of the um, fall. So my shoulder looks like my leg does. And then my rib cage hurts really bad. Um, but I, you know, I rolled out of it like you do when you're, I don't know, you just have that instinct, I guess, when you've fallen on your bike enough, you protect your head and you roll out of the fall. But of course, good crowd around to be like, are you okay, are you okay? But I had the wind knocked out of me and couldn't answer. <laughs> so yeah, felt stupid, hurt a little, but I mean, I'm okay. And more importantly, uh, this guy's okay. <laughs> so, look, uh, I, I really think a big part of that was the angle of attack, those people being there and I just took a harder turn than usual. Maybe that loose limestone is always there and I don't notice it because I'm rolling in at such a smooth turn, but yeah, my ribs still hurt really bad, um, but everything else feels decent. I can feel the scratches, but I'm okay. But yeah, I really, you know, I really bruised a rib or cracked a rib or something like that, but I am going to whip around Honda Hills a little bit more and I think I'll show some footage from the last few rides and then I will see you in the next upload.